Okay, this side has been rammed, and I'm going to strike it off and quickly flip it over. Now, as I flip it over, I'm going to flip the board and all so the patterns do not fall out. Now, this is the part that really is the most important now. I'm taking a spoon, and these foundry spoons are made in many styles, and we're going to what we would call part it down. As you can see here, we've got some extra sand that's loose, so I'm going to take the spoon and tapering this off, dig it down until the entire pattern is revealed. Notice how I'm tapering it. Feeling in there with my fingers to make sure I'm down where I want to be. Do this other side as well. Take your fingers and smooth that out. We'll blow it off. Of course, the other side needs to be done as well. I'm just going to do the one side for the sake of expediency. And then come right back after the other side is done. Both patterns have been parted down, and we're going to put parting sand on now, which is very essential, because we've got some raw sand here, and uh, we don't want the other half sticking to that. Now we'll put the other half of the flask on, but, be but before I do, we're going to put our sprue right down in the middle, and we'll gate here and here, and then into this other little wooden pattern at the same time. I'm not going to mark this for the sprue, but I, I know where it is. I'm going to memorize it. And we're going to sift the sand and ram this side. And then I'm going to open them up and show you how to take the patterns out. My brother, Mr. Jan Peterson, showed me how to do this many years ago. This is where our sprue is going to go. I'm going to use a tapered sprue cutter and go down halfway, so I'm using my thumb as a depth gauge. Down we go till my thumb touches. Now the hole is in there and we're going to make a little bit of a pouring basin here or a funnel if you will to make it a little easier to hit the hole. Okay, now We're going to take it apart and see what we got. Lift this top half off, and I will take two close-up pictures, still pictures of this, and include this in the video as well. There are the two halves. Now we're going to cut sprues, or uh, gates rather, from the sprue. This is where the sprue came in. And I'm going to put it in right here. They don't need to be very deep for these little cover plates here because they're thin. But you want it deep enough so that they, the metal will not freeze off on you. And then we're going to put one over here too. This little pattern, this little split pattern. And now we're going to remove the patterns. Half of that came off, and we'll have to use our little drywall screw to pull the other half out. Now, there's no good way to get these out because there's no screw hole there. So what I do is this. I like to uh, tap it with a brass tube. Just to loosen it up a little bit. Now I have to dig a little hole right here, and that will be easy to saw off or file off after the castings are poured. And I'm just going to try to lift them straight up. 
and there I did. There's one, and there's two. I'll take the spoon and clean this up here just a little bit so none of that loose sand washes in on the casting. And then this is ready to be blown out good. Get all that loose sand out of there because any little particle of that will result in a minor cavity in the uh, finished casting. We're going to blow this off also. Now it's ready to close up, but I'm going to stop and take a couple still pictures. Okay, I took a few still pictures that will also be in the video. This has been blown off good. Now I'm going to assemble the flask, the cope, onto the drag, match the colors, the orange colors, so they're not reversed. I've seen people reverse uh, and get a weird looking casting. And then this is ready to pour. Again, this is in a regular parting line, and we have parted it down. This is something that's fairly easy to do if you understand the principles of it and the principles of a parting line. This one is ready to pour. I'm not necessarily going to pour this for you and show it in a video because I think the, the point has been made here. Hope you have good luck using castings as patterns. This is Tubal Cain saying, so long for now.